Cool. And we're live. Michael will be joining Welcome. us in visual the... form shortly. Welcome to the September 15th Dev Sync. It is Wednesday or Thursday if you live in Australia. Thank you. <laughs> um, in, in our typical fashion, Derek, do you want to give your update first? Yeah, sure. Uh, so, yeah, Chris and I met today and talked a little bit about where the GUI was at and uh, a couple of the skills, a common Q&A and um, the uh, pairing and Wi-Fi and talked a little bit about installer, although that doesn't have anything yet. Um, but pairing and Wi-Fi is very close. Uh, so I was trying to just wrap that up real quick so it can be in the queue. And um, really, I think the Wikipedia side of common Q&A is, is good from my standpoint as well. Um, so yeah, just wanted to get those in a good um, place so that you know somebody, if Chris or someone else to, uh, ends up taking those on, then they're good to go. And then um, we had all these these uh, Mark II dev kits uh, arrive in Lawrence, so I did go up and help a little bit today to get some organization in place, put some shelves together and stuff to. Uh, store or help uh, get that stuff organized Macy. Um, and then tomorrow I'm going to try and shift some more focus over onto help the marketing team with start engine. So that's, uh, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. All right, Mr. Smith. I am preparing a tensor flow light one time uh, integration. Okay. Awesome. Love to shorten the sweet. <laughs> yes. Um, I want to talk to Derek cause I've also been asked to do some start engine stuff. And so I want to make sure that we're, we are across what we're doing, um, by the other team. Uh, uh, yesterday, not the most productive day. I got a new Mark II, and that took a while to put together. Um, so apologies to Chris for me previously questioning your uh, your speed at putting them together um, because, yeah, for some reason, the new plastics are... Well, the plastics from these kits are, are way harder than the... Um, way more junked up than the plastics from the, the last kits that I got. So um, sorry to anyone in the community who got one of these ones too. Um, but it does get together be beautifully. You just have to like clear everything out nicely first and have a utility knife on hand and blah, blah, blah. Um, uh, yeah, so not really a lot to, to report. Um, I, depending on what happens with the start engine stuff, um, other than that, I want to get, uh, jump back to, to take a hopefully a final look at the wiki skill um because i think that's the last thing uh that and the, the home screen slash um alarm slash whatever changes um that need to be merged in i think that's the last bit from sprint 22 and then we can finally like box that up and put it to bed and and be only working on one sprint at a time like you kind of meant to <laughs> um yeah so uh oh no they're my other priority and actually it is a higher priority is uh getting back to um following up from the meeting on tuesday that, that um chris and michael came to um so yeah that's me Uh, and Michael, everyone else is gone already. Uh, we were too quick ah. for you. Sorry, but I've recorded Except it so you me. can rewatch. Well, oh, well, I thought, yeah, I, did, I don't remember what Chris said. Maybe because I didn't say anything. <laughs> That's why. That's good. My bad. Um, <laughs> so I had a, a little bit more interesting day um, last night. So I submitted two PRs to Core. Both of them were going through the CI process, and the weather um, intense. Whether weather VK tests were all failing. 
which I thought was strange. Um, it looked like the same problem we had before, but I knew that we had upgraded our subscription. So I was a little concerned about that. It took me a while to figure it out, but I found an, uh, an obscure bug in Cellini um, that was causing the problem. Um, when you do, when Cellini authenticates the user, it pulls uh, the user information from the database. And it, one of the things it pulls is the last time that account was active. Um, and if that account activity timestamp um, fell on a you know, zeros for a microsecond value, microsecond value wasn't in the timestamp, which was wreaking havoc with a, um, a parsing routine that took that just that string of the date and tried to, you know, add microseconds to it, <laughs> or tried to parse microseconds out of it. Um, I looked, and there's only five accounts in the database that have this particular problem. Um, so I'm not surprised it hasn't come up. But um, one of them was the DevOps account, which is the account that runs all, all of our <laughs> um, VK tests. Um, so I put a little fix in there to check for a date string that didn't have microseconds in it. And um, and I just I emergency patched production so that we could so that these tests would fit would run and they did run after I made that fix. So um, I will do a proper PR and uh, all that good stuff with this fix in it. But um, I didn't want to hold up VK tests forever because of something silly like that. And so so I did do that last night. Was um, one of those accounts mine. I don't know. I didn't look and see which ones they were. I just searched for the timestamps. What I'm saying was you said that there were five accounts affected by this. Was one of the accounts mine? I don't know. Sounds like it would be fixed now. So I'll run, you... the, I'll, I'll run the uh, query again, but I doubt it because your problem is not manifesting itself in the same way. Um, so I think it's a, that's a different problem. Um. Did some documentation. I've been in. So one of the tasks I had from a couple of days ago was to write tickets for all of the GUIs that we don't have yet. Uh, I did that. I assigned the ones that haven't still need some Figma work to Derek, um, and the ones that just need me to do the coding work to me. Those so those are all out there. Um, and I was in Confluence. Um, we've been doing a lot of talking about um, procedure. So I've been in Confluence um, updating some of that documentation. And so, um, so and I, I did some work on the home screen skill. Um, when I brought my, um, my Mark II up the other day after having unplugged for a couple of days, I didn't have a, a, a background on my home screen. So I debugged that and fixed it. Um, and now I do. But um, that'll be... So it'll be a commit for that PR um, going in to address that. So that's that's me. All right. Uh, just a quick follow up. Was that bug in the home screen or somewhere else? It was well. I actually, I think it was XDG related um, mm. because. Um, well, the bug was actually in the setting. So the setting that says use this. Um, use this picture for my background. And I had removed um, the old default to put in the new default that we kind of, it's just, it's kind of the same image, but just kind of moved around a little bit. And I had actually named the old, the new one to not be default. And in my settings on Selene, it was, the value was default. <laughs> so, um, and I had a hard time finding um, what the problem was because I didn't know that we had merged XDG into the Mark II branch. So I, I, we I, had, so that's, I'm confused. It looked like, it but, looked like we had to me <laughs> because when I was looking at the code, um, I checked out the Mark II branch and there was a bunch of XDG stuff in there. Um, but so I, I was looking in the wrong place initially for my settings. <laughs> um, so that was a bit of a problem too, but. Um, yeah, it's so it was it was, it was, a, it was a settings problem is what it really was. Um, okay, 
Oh, well, that speaks to this process that we were uh, discussing yesterday. And uh, so that's interesting. Um, oh, Ken, I had a follow-up question for you as well. Um, uh, I take it your Mark II is still not working. That is a true statement. However, um, if I boot it tomorrow and it's not fixed, then I'll go around the corner and pick up another USB drive and burn the latest uh, test image and start from there. And uh, actually, that's fine because I'm I've got the PR just about ready for the TensorFlow Light Runner. So what I can do is take our latest and uh, create a new branch. And then when I get into my Mark II, just change to that branch and test. And it should be the latest and a good test environment. And, you know, so that's, it's not, I'm not blocked by it, but no, it's not working. Got it. Thanks. Ken, do you, I, I'm going to send you some spare USB drives. I don't have your new address. Can you send it to me? Yeah. I've got a ton. Can you send me a couple too then? And I've only got one spare. It's nice to have a few extra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. All right. Um, I don't have much of an update. I was working on uh, business stuff last night. Um, and um, yeah. So. Um, I, I guess I will mention that uh, I'm, I do intend to be spending more of my time on the uh, business side, uh, that, you know, as soon as possible. So um, I'm, you know, I, I'm, I'm trying to work with, with all of you guys to, I want to get to a place where we have a solid roadmap that we're all in agreement about. And that, um, you know, my hope is that I can sort of put things on autopilot for a little while. Um, I expect I'll still do the check-ins, uh, but um, I would like to try to uh, be able to take more of my attention to other things, at least for a little while. So, um, yeah. So there's, the, yeah, there's you know, plenty to keep us busy. <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, there sure is. Uh, and uh, yeah, so you know, the the top line goals for me are to get the. Uh, you know, get the roadmap uh, squared away, get us all in agreement with that, make sure that that's shared out uh, with the community uh, so they understand, you know, where we're going. Um, and uh, and then some, uh, you know, at least get the plan in place for the, uh, the necessary uh, internal reforms uh, regarding process so that we can uh, make a little progress, uh, make progress more steadily and uh, and get the uh, the build system also, I think probably simplified so that we can, you know, expose that progress to our community uh, more regularly as well. So yeah. before um, we uh, move on, Yaz wasn't here yesterday, so for here is his edification. Uh, when I figured wait. out what was wrong with my Mark II, oh. it is um, not able to connect to the back end, uh, and it's. Uh, Try and hit the API and uh, entry point. What's going on? Um, Chris believes it to be a DNS issue. I believe it to be a uh, cert issue because, um, you know, unsurprisingly, at the time it's failing to connect to the back end on port 443, it's also still reading the date as January 1st. So as a result, it does not believe that it has a valid cert because the cert probably isn't valid by now, if that makes sense. And that's the same problem we had in the connect routine with the Google HTTPS, so. Yeah, this isn't a new problem. Yeah, I suspect it's just surfacing a little bit later when we try to connect to the back end <laughs> with that particular build for whatever reason. And it's probably a timing issue. Okay, well, short and sweet. That's, uh, that's the way to do it. So um, uh, I guess that uh, that's uh, it for today. Um, we'll check in again tomorrow. <laughs>